Today we had a couple people come into the Climate Change Action Center to work on a few indoor growing projects. How do you feel about painting? Uh, like just like this box? Painting is fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we would need to paint that box. That would be done first since it's two of y'all. Do you want to paint? I'll paint. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> these two could be painted first because the thing is we're going to plant microgreens okay. inside of there. Y'all familiar with microgreens? Yeah, so we're gonna plant microgreens inside of here. Uh, and this is for a project with the kids. So I'm doing the video so that way they can see how the process work and then they can start doing it themselves. And then with the beets, we gotta plant the beets into these. There's two things here. I'm gonna use this dirt right here. And then uh, these gotta be cut off. So those gotta be cut off and then they gotta be planted inside of there. Make sense? All right, you're gonna use put fill those up with dirt and then two of them. Uh, are going to be ba uh, sage and then two are going to be basil. Okay. Any questions? How do you have to cut off that part of the um, radish? Or what is those called? Uh, yeah, so so the thing is, both parts are edible. I like the greens better. They were looking better when I bought them two days ago, but I've been waiting on so long to do this project. But these taste better to me and they grow fast and they keep on growing. They don't stop as long as this part is buried. Yeah, so that's why I do that. Yeah, I want to see it all. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. You don't want to make it damp, damp. Just like spritz it. You do a little bit more. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's it. A lot of people kill their plants because they overwater them. They mm. think they need too much. Wow. Mm -hmm. I think I heard about that before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why do I do it? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's good. Okay. Greens. You basically got to moisten the soil up first, and then once it's moistened, you can just put the seeds on top, but you don't have to bury them. Okay. Yeah. It, uh, so it's all good. Just pinch them from your hand and just sprinkle them. Oh. Yeah. That's there better. you go. Mm -hmm. Like that chef dude that be putting that salt. <laughs> 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 I'm like, I'm over here doing something. <laughs> Oh, I'm seasoning this plant real good. <laughs> you best not let me forget this is the pan. You gotta label this one too. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that, that's good. That's enough. product. I like this because I, yeah, I can season for real. <laughs> <laughs> I can season for real. I'm used yeah. to this. This yeah. is something I'm yeah. used to. That's good. Where mm -hmm. should I put more? Um, just a little more. Just a little more over the whole area. That was about perfect. That's good. Yeah. So you're going to basically take off the little wrap thing. Mm -hmm. And then about where it's at, where that where the wrap is at, that's where you're gonna cut the plant. Yeah. And this is what we're gonna be planting. Right yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me push it out a little bit further. A little Ow. deeper, deeper down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of cover this part. Mm -hmm. Cause when we water, it's gonna kind of come down anyway. Okay. So. Is this clear? Mm -hmm. okay. Today's projects turned out great. We're looking forward to doing more projects real soon. Hopefully this video will inspire you to do some of your own indoor gardening projects, it's a lot of fun.
All of the seeds, paint, and wooden boxes were purchased at Dollar Tree. So remember, it doesn't cost a lot of money to make a few good memories.